We love you. Grizzly Valentine Day Murders. That will make you happy. You don't have a date. Surgeon bought orchids for his wife, but crushes her head instead. On Valentine's Day, two thousand and one, Doctor John Hamilton ordered. And an expensive bouquet of flowers for his wife, Susan. But she would never live to see them. Coming home between surgeries, he allegedly found his wife dead in a pool of her own blood. She had been strangled with two of his neckties. And had her skull beaten so badly, pieces of her brain were exposed. By their friends' accounts, Susan and John Hamilton had a happy marriage. But as investigators dug deeper, they found some suspicious clues made Doctor Hamilton their prime suspect. Firstly, there was this note that his wife wrote him in his Valentine's card. I bought my cards two weeks ago, so I guess maybe they don't seem as appropriate now. But I do love you. Have a good day. Signed, Susan. Some of Susan's family confirmed that she was considering a divorce after discovering him making sordid phone calls with a stripper. Then, to complicate the matter further, the police found traces of blood and flesh. In Doctor Hamilton's car, they also found Susan's jewelry hidden in an underwear drawer, almost as if someone had wanted the police to think a robbery had taken place. After an expert witness testified that the blood spatters on Doctor Hamilton's sleeve. Were consistent with someone beating his wife. The jury convicted him of murder in less than two hours. Olympic athlete Oscar Pistorius shoots girlfriend through. Bathroom door. Oscar Pistorius rose to worldwide fame after his victory in the 2004 Paralympics. After Valentine's Day 2013, however, he became known for something very different: the savage murder of Riva Steenkamp. While Pistorius admits that he fired the gun that killed his lover Riva, he denies it was murder. He claims that he thought he heard an intruder, and that he was acting in self-defense. Text messages were recovered from. Reaver's phone that said she was afraid of him, and that he was capable of snapping. A court eventually found him guilty of murder.
Baptist ministry sends wife to God. On Valentine's Day 2013, Minister Nathan Luthold gave his children Valentine's Day cards before school, but the only thing he gave his wife was a bullet to the face. It took a jury only 90 minutes to find him guilty of murdering his wife Denise. He had laid in wait for his wife to return home so he could fire the gun shot right through her head. Investigators found that he made hundreds of internet searches about how to most efficiently kill someone. He had googled how much poison a human body could withstand and how quietly fire a 40 caliber Glock handgun. The weapon he used to murder his wife. Furthermore, he had used his children's college fund to pay his mistress hush money, not to tell the police they were having a sordid affair. The mistress was at the house often. He was sentenced to 80 years in prison. Bitter ex stabs former girlfriend for revenge. 25 year old Tiana Notice broke up with her boyfriend James Carter because of his frequent, volatile, and sometimes violent behavior. Carter was not willing to give her up. However, even after she received multiple restraining orders, he continued texting, calling, and emailing her with threats. Trust me, baby. You are go to lose everything as God as my witness. Punishment is on the way. Be prepared. You will have nothing but bad luck. You hear? Remember these emails when karma bites you in the ass. But you will have to answer to God first, screwing James family over because of all the things they did for you. Despite frequent police interventions, Carter kept trying to visit Tiana at her home, workplace, and wrote her many letters. His behavior, extremely hostile, extremely apologetic, oftentimes trying to make amends and get back together with Tiana. God told me to write, so please don't tell the cops. I am going through a life or death situation right now and you are the only one I can talk to. You ever been close to death or thought you were going to die? If I am lying, May the Lord strike me down and kill me tomorrow. My dad said he had a dream that our neighbors gave us two tomb tombstones at our house. In dire straits situation T, please help me. Get rid of these restraining orders. Tiana returned to the police with this email and finally agreed to take Carter into uh, violating the restraining order. They wouldn't be able to arrest him in time. 
However, on the evening of Valentine's Day 2009, Tiana was killed by over 20 stab wounds inflicted by her ex-boyfriend James Carter. Carter was sentenced to 60 years in prison. So guys, watch out for your next date.